In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to import from Top Producer. So if you've watched our video on how to export from Top Producer, you get a file that looks something like this. And one of the things that you'll notice in Top Producer, they you have the ability to have multiple contact types associated with each contact. So here's an example where there's two values that are in this CSV file format that need to go into one value inside Plan Plus. Now, fortunately, Plan Plus has the ability to import multiple values into a single field. The type of field that you want to use is going to be a multi-select field. So here's an example of a multi-select field where you can have multiple values selected. Now, a multi-select field is different from a standard string field in that you can only select one value. So what we're looking for is we need to make sure that we have a custom field type created called contact type. And if you're using our real estate template, there should be a custom field that you can map right to called contact type. If you're not sure, you can go to the account setup page. You can look at the custom fields, and in this case we're importing to contacts, so we'll look at the contact custom fields. And you'll see right here we have a field type called contact type, and it's a multiple string values field. Now, one thing that's nice about the way that we import into these field types is you don't have to worry about having the values already in your drop-down menu, which is the case with some of the imports. So what we're going to do is we're just going to import these records right from our right from our CSV spreadsheet and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to look for these values to be added to the drop down because you'll notice that those values were not in there prior to this import. First thing we're going to do is, is we're going to make sure that we have it saved as a CSV file. Sometimes you get that error message when you try to save as a CSV. I get it all the time. I just click yes and, and proceed. To do the imports into your account, you go to the import export page on the account menu. In this case, we're importing contacts. If you're importing contacts and company names, you go to the organization contact sales team. This is a great one to use if you're going to import the team member's name as well. So we'll select this one. We'll grab our file grab our file. It's always a good idea to use an import session that makes it easy to build a view or to query these records later on. Now when we do our mapping, here's the field, we're going to map this contact type to our contact type field that is the multi-select field. We're going to get the first name and we're going to get the last name Notice that I'm importing contacts, so I'm skipping past all the organization fields there. Now you'll notice the asterisk on so my company name I'm going to import to the organization name field. So what this asterisk means on organization names, if I'm going to import an organization, I have to have an, an organization name. These would all be optional fields for importing and organization. Similar idea with the notes. You'll notice on my note import that there is a asterisk next to the title. What this means is that I can't import note content or note date without a note title. So it's usually the first thing you want to import is the contact note. Similar for Similar thing goes for addresses. You have to have a line one if you're going to import a city, state, and zip. So if, if for some reason your data record doesn't have one of those, you may need to create a row in your file so that you can have a line one. And we're going to skip some of these other fields so that we can quickly do the import. Saving a mapping would save this mapping profile for later use. I'm just using this one time so I don't need to save it. It's going to let you visually inspect the records before it imports them. It's going to tell you if it's going to create a new record or if it's going to update an existing record. In this case, it's all new records. All right, so there's my import. I can look at a log and a history of the import by clicking that link. I'll go look at my contact records. 
My last updated record should be the ones that came in from this import. Here's a record that was in there. And you can see that these were the contact types that were included with that particular record. Here's John Corbin. You can see that it created all those new contact types. And from my spreadsheet, here's the 